I was just going to use my oil bucket and uh, it is not happy. I got it hooked here <coughs> to a battery. This is good and listen to it. It's running slow. Doesn't sound good. I'm gonna pull the end off here, see if something's happened to the impeller itself. Well, looks fine in here. I wonder if the brushes are wore out or something. Let's pull this back half apart. See what's going on inside under this switch thing. It doesn't seem like it has the power that it did before. So, we've put a lot of time on this bucket, so there's a good possibility that it's just in need of brushes or maybe it got left outside one too many times. There's some water came out of there. Okay. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit of watery, rusty nast in here. Oh. Yeah, that's probably not good for it. Let's see, how does the rest of this thing come apart? See, it almost stalls if you put it under a good load. Um, I think we're gonna have to disassemble this further. I don't know if this end cap comes off or if I have to pull the pump head off of that side. I feel like with as long as those screws are, yeah, those things go through the whole housing. So maybe this will come off. That could be a problem. I guess these things aren't meant to see water. Can I pull this whole thing out? Yeah. Yeah, look at how rusty that armature is. Whew. Gross. Doesn't look like anything's actually burnt. It's just, see the Commutator here. This is all bridged together. Did a little reading, looking up on the internet, and according to Jabsco, if you need to replace any parts on this motor, throw it out and get a new one. I'm not big into that mindset. Uh, if I was, I probably wouldn't be driving a 40-year-old car and 20-year-old trucks. So I'm gonna give this my best shot, just cleaning it up uh, with a wire brush, and then we're gonna take this uh, armature assembly over to the workbench. I'm gonna clean out all of this in here, dry everything up, get it nice and clean, and see, maybe we can save this uh, without any parts. Um, sadly, I couldn't find anything super obvious uh, as far as spare parts availability. Uh, basically, nothing officially available. So maybe I could dig around and find somebody who has just parts or something. But uh, in the meantime, let's clean this up and just see if we can get it working properly with no parts. So maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Either way, come along, let's find out. That's all relatively clean. Let's take this armature over and clean this thing up. I'll show you what we do with these. If any part of this was hitting the magnet, it's 
that's plural. There's two magnets. That could have been causing us issues. Okay, so that's pretty well cleaned up. Um, now one big thing here, this commutator, how all of these are bridged together. I've seen that cause some weird issues. So what I will do if I'm working on an electric motor like this, I will take something like a little razor blade like this and just get down in here and just scrape out the gunk that's in, be in between each of these. Also take a little Scotch-Brite, clean them up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not expecting a ton out of this, but if I can get a little bit more use out of this before I have to buy a new bucket, that would be fantastic. It's better. This is all nice and cleaned up. There's still some rough patches here and there, but doesn't have to be perfect, just a little bit better. Let's go put this thing back together. Okay, that popped in. Run it a little bit, see if we can break those brushes in. Put the cover back on, see what it does. See what happens if we put a load on it. All right, that sounds healthy. I think maybe, just maybe, cleaning the insides of that out have fixed it. So let's give it a try for a little while, uh, finish our other job that we were gonna use this thing for and see if it's still happy. So we'll give it a try. Thanks for coming along on this adventure.